Hey guys, Arad Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make polyscapes. Polyscapes is something like this. Um, it's, uh, you have a picture uh, in the background, and then you have, um, shapes, and inside those shapes you have different, uh, pictures, colors, or the same image, probably, you know, in different, uh, locations, like, uh, you know, inverted, uh, it horizontally or vertically kind of like this and this is you know, normal and then here it's inverted uh, vertically I think the polyscapes are they look beautiful no matter what it's just they look amazing in my opinion they look amazing and uh, I feel like you, you you need the right picture and uh, you can't really do this with like drawn uh, I, I feel like you can't do this well with drawn uh, pictures, uh, that kind of stuff. I feel like they look best with uh, real life pictures, kind of like that. Like this, I'm not sure if this is drawn or not, but it looks, you know, pretty real life uh, right now. And, you know, just landscapes, kind of like that. They look really nice. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do something like uh, like this, like this. I'm teaching you how to do something like this, yeah. Oh man, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, so uh, you open up, you know, Photoshop obviously, and you grab, you drag in the picture that you want to polyscape onto the, your document, and then you select it, and then you press Control J, and you have your duplicate a copy, and then you right click the duplicate copy and then you rasterize it I think um, um, if you want to do something uh, like this right now where you use one picture and you just polyscape the one just one picture or here you, you have you know two pictures instead here you have one picture as well so let's just try to do with one picture so once you have that uh, copy what you want to do is make another copy and then uh, hide that for now and I'll make uh, go to your ellipse tool and press shift and drag across with your mouse oh, see that's what happens when you don't shift and drag across see now it now looks like a perfect circle and then just put it you know like in the middle of your image and um, you um, control J and then you uh, duplicate um, duplicate it and then you rasterize it so it's not an object anymore and you don't have that annoying line on it so what you can do is you can flip vertical uh, let's just flip it vertically I think that looks really nice that reflection didn't notice it before anyway sorry sorry about that and then you uh, cre um, right click the second duplicate of the image that you want polyscaped and you create clipping mask on on it and then you I, ca I would drag it like a little bit down you know so you can still see the background image I think that looks really nice right there um, <laughs> another thing you can do is uh, let's let's grab a rectangle and let's make a rectangle and let's put that under let's make like a diamond shape effect thing <laughs> and let's put it put it right there uh, make a copy a duplicate and rasterize it and then uh, duplicate that put it on top of the rectangle let's um, flip horizontal and create clipping mask as you can see you know we're already getting that polyscape effect right down and you know it's starting to look really nice um, other things you can do um, you can leave it like that but I think like something like this you kinda have like those white lines for a stroke effect I think that looks really nice but let's keep it like around here I think that looks really nice um, alright so you have that and then to flip it yeah oh yeah let's let's flip it again uh, this is the second one and then 
to make it to make this effect like the white line which looks really nice um, you just grab your rectangle tool and just make a line and you make it so it goes across across the entire screen I think that looks really nice yeah um, and you make it kind of go across the entire screen and you know that that looks really nice right there yep right there like just like that you know it looks it looks really nice and uh, you go cut a color overlay and then you change it to white uh, maybe maybe go around like that uh, it's not really centered but let's make it something like that uh, let's see if we can now let's just keep it like that it's it um, this is a, a thinner line so make sure not to make the mistake what I did uh, and make it you know not as thick so bring down the opacity a little bit and that looks really nice and um, wait what else what else can we do hold on uh, let's do the square effect yeah let's uh let's make another like make another square actually no let's uh grab this same square and flip it just like that yep and then grab the image of this uh the duplicate and then um inverted uh, horizontally and then create clipping mask boom we just made a polyscape that looks amazing that's something uh, you know you could do there's other obviously other ways you can you know go about like this you know pretty simple or something like this more uh, detailed um, but I like you know this effect it looks really nice and that's uh, about it you can you can just follow uh, the effects that I did um, a little bit and um, you know do it with your own images and I guess you could come up with the same, you know, effect, or you can just play around. That's the key to polyscapes, man. You just gotta play around um, with shapes, that kind of stuff, and you know, you'll probably get some really good results. Anyways, that this has been um, another tutorial by the Rod Designs. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and comment down. Would you like to see me? you know, do a tutorial of next time, and the ride designs out. Peace.